I will be doing the rest of this demonstration in a virtual machine versus using an actual physical camera pointed at the LCD panel. The reasons are obviously because the images are a little bit clearer. So hopefully we can see a little bit better. The concept is pretty much the same even though I'm doing it in a virtual machine. So we're at this Windows setup screen and at this screen it's asking us to set the language that we need to install, the time and currency format, and the keyboard or input method. So if you downloaded this from the DreamSpark website, this should already automatically be set for you. In case it's not, you should check to make sure that English United States is set, um, English United States set for the second one, and US is set for the third. I know that some of you may be foreign exchange students, and would prefer to use your own language operating system, I will tell you that your professors will have an extremely difficult time helping you if you don't use the English language because that's the language that we use here at Kansas State University. So once you're done setting your language, go ahead and click this next button down here on the lower right. You'll also notice down here towards the lower left it says repair your computer now. So if you're going to install or do the recovery option, you can choose this repair your computer option down here, but we're not going to actually do that. So what we're going to do instead is choose the install now. So as soon as I click on that, we get the setup is starting down here at the bottom. And then we are presented with this screen here. So it says, enter the product key to activate Windows. It should be on the back of the box that Windows came in or in a message that shows you bought Windows. The product key looks like this. Now if you recall back on the DreamSpark website on the screen, so when you actually go out to, if you didn't write this down, you can always go back and try to re-download it again. We'll pretend like you're getting ready to re-download it and the screen that has your serial number on it will appear. It's usually in red text. So it did appear for mine. I didn't really point it out in the videos because each um, Windows install has its own serial number, so you should be using your own. So at this screen, we need to enter the product key to activate Windows. Um, sometimes it'll let you activate Windows later, and sometimes you have to do it now. So if I click Next, it pretty much means that I need to activate it now. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and type in my serial numbers and then I'll click next down here at the bottom. Once I click next, I'll see a screen that looks like this and this is the license agreement. So you can definitely scroll down through this and read about all of this stuff. When you're done, you just check in the I accept and then click on next. At this screen, we'll be prompted to decide which type of installation do you want. So do you want to upgrade? So upgrade is to install Windows and keep file settings and applications. Um, I don't recommend doing this. I recommend going with a fresh install. And the reason why is because we're kind of um, installing a new operating system, meaning that you're going to want Windows 8.1 drivers and not Windows 7 drivers installed. So down here where it says custom, install Windows only, advanced, this is where we're going to wipe the hard drive clean and just go with a completely clean slate. So this, this bottom one, this is the option that we actually want. So I'll click on custom install Windows only, which will take us to this screen here. Now on yours, you may have multiple drives listed here. You may have something that talks about a recovery partition, or a diagnostic partition or some sort of partition that has tools on it and then you may have like a drive 0 and allocated you may have a drive 1, a drive 2 or a drive 3. That may be the case if you have multiple drives connected. In this case I disconnected everything except my operating system drive so I only have one drive listed here. I may have a second one listed here which may be my diagnostic tools but I don't have that so the operating system drive is typically going to be the bigger drive. If you have two partitions on that drive, you may have a really small one that's around, I don't know, a couple megs, maybe 10 megs in size. And then the other one's like really large. So this is an example which I'm running through a virtual machine. So you can see here the disk is very, very small. So I'm just using this just to demonstrate how to install Windows. So yours is going to be much bigger than 60 gigabytes. Yours will be around 
500 gigabytes to maybe one terabyte in size. So this one is pretty small and like I said I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes only so yours will be much bigger. And you may have two, one will be really small and one will be really big and the really big one will be the one that will likely have your operating system on it. So right now it says drive zero unallocated. So down here at the bottom we have several options and these are kind of good to know about but for the purposes of what I'm doing here it's not really important. This button here allows you to refresh this list in case something should be listed here but for some reason is not listed here. Um, some computers require a hard drive controller driver to be loaded first or an LCD panel driver to be loaded in order for the LCD panel to work correctly during a Windows install. So to do that you would load a driver by clicking on this load driver button and you can point it to your USB thumb drive or CD. So this is how you would do that. Um, you can delete a partition that's listed here by choosing this delete button and right now the partition has already been deleted so it's unallocated space that's why it's graded out. You can extend a partition that means you can m maybe um, add a partition or create a partition from an existing. You can format a partition. Now this button here will become pretty useful if you're told that your computer has been um, infected and it needs to be formatted so what you would do is you would go through this Windows installation process, select that partition that is infected and then you would choose this format option which will wipe all the files off the drive before it puts Windows files on there and that's the option that you would choose if you're infected. And since there is nothing here to begin with um, this format button is grayed out. Um, new. New allows me to create a new partition so if I click on this new button I can split this partition up. I can make I could maybe make it two 30 gig size drives if I wanted to and that isn't really what I want to do so I'm just going to click cancel to that. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is at drive zero unallocated and let Windows go ahead and partition format as one big one. So all I need to do here is just choose next. And then we go into installing Windows. So pretty much from this point on it can take a little while depending upon how fast your computer is. If you have a solid state drive this is going to go very very fast. If you have a mechanical drive like I'm using here in the example it's going to take a pretty long time. So this is a good point to just kind of sit back, maybe open a magazine or something, or surf the web, check your email, and just kind of, you know, occasionally look over on your screen, make sure that, you know, it's continuing. Sometimes it may look like that it's hanging. Um, you could turn the num lock on and off on your keyboard to make sure it didn't stop responding or something. But just, you know, every once in a while I'll just check it and make sure it's going. So at this point in time, I'm going to pause the video and then I'll let it restart when it's actually at a screen where it wants me to do something. It may reboot a couple times which is normal so you know just don't freak out or anything like that. And You may get a blank screen or something that's because it's trying to detect the video card. Just you know just let it run and do its thing. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video.